So, after a massive shift in focus in the Assassin's Creed series, going back to the original roots that everybody loved about Assassin's Creed with Assassin's Creed Mirage, it looks like Ubisoft is, in a couple years, going back to the games that people didn't like, the games that people found to be too big and boring, and there were no deep connections. It was just a very boring game that felt very stale, with that being with Odyssey and Valhalla, and it looks like, well, Ubisoft wants to go back to that with their new tech called Scalar. And, well, yeah, they want to create even bigger worlds than what's currently possible. And yes, you heard me right, even bigger worlds. Now, Ubisoft have said this. So, according to the publisher, the tech supports all platforms and can run various components of already existing Ubisoft game engines, such as AI or physics systems. In the cloud, offloading the work across a potentially unlimited number of machines, allowing the company to leverage essentially an infinite amount of computing power. It would also allow Ubisoft to update games and add content to them without having to push out specific platform patches. And Ubisoft described a few different ways for how this immense increase in power could be used in video games, including future games being able to support huge numbers of online players at one time for certain maybe multiplayer titles. And Ubisoft also wants to create new types of games that would be completely free from having to rely on limited computing power as is the case for of course pretty much every single game that we have at the moment so yeah it looks like ubisoft don't want to stop the rpg style assassin's creed games they want to create another game that has an outrageously long story that is quite boring and also has a very big open world that looks great and feels great but there's nothing going on in it and it just makes the game boring. Assassin's Creed Valhalla was a good idea and I think that the game looked amazing and I think the world was nice, it was a really nice environment to look at and explore, but it was boring. After about an hour of exploring the area, the story gets a bit boring, the story feels too long, it really really drags on as well. And it looks like Ubisoft wants to maybe do another game like that. But it is worth noting that this is still many, many years away. This technology is still in development and isn't ready to be used yet. It's just a bit worrying that maybe one day we'll be getting another game like that from Ubisoft. But at the moment, of course, the main focus is on Assassin's Creed Mirage. But I did just want to make this quick video, you know, letting everyone know that maybe we'll be getting another game like Valhalla in the future. To be honest, maybe people expected that. They thought, you know, that wouldn't be the end of the RPG-style games since some people do like them. The older games aren't for everyone and the newer games aren't for everyone either. Maybe they want to get the best of both worlds, which I'm fine with if they continue to release games like Assassin's Creed Unity and Assassin's Creed Mirage in the future that go to the older style of the Assassin's Creed games. Then I'm fine with that. If they continue to do that alongside the RPG-style games, then that is getting the best of both worlds and wouldn't be an issue. But yeah, I just wanted to make this video going over this new technology and what it could mean for the Assassin's Creed games in the future from Ubisoft. But I would love to hear your thoughts on this down in the comments below and what you think about this new technology and what it could mean for the future of the Assassin's Creed series. But yeah, that does just about wrap up things here. Now, on screen now, you are seeing a link to a video where I go over absolutely everything we know so far about Assassin's Creed Mirage. Here's the link on the screen if you are interested in watching that.